Good morning everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It's the 24th Sunday in ordinary time. The first reading is taken from Sirach, second reading from Romans, and the gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 18 verse 21 to 35. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, the readings for this Sunday all focus on the importance of forgiveness. In the first reading from Sirach, we are told that whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. This is a reminder that forgiveness is a powerful force that can overcome even the strongest of emotions. When we forgive someone, we are not condoning their actions, but we are choosing to let go of our anger and resentment. This can be a difficult task, of course, but it is. one that is essential for our own peace of mind and spiritual growth the second reading from romans tells us that we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves this is a reminder that we all make mistakes and that we should be patient and forgiving with those who have wronged us when we are forgiving we are showing love and compassion which are two of the most important qualities of being a christian The gospel reading from Matthew tells the story of a man who forgives his servant for a large debt. This story teaches us that God is always willing to forgive us, no matter how great our sins may be. If we want to experience God's forgiveness, we must also be willing to forgive others. The three readings for this Sunday remind us that forgiveness is a central part of our Christian life. It is a powerful force that can heal relationships. bring peace to our hearts and draw us closer to God. If we want to experience the fullness of God's love, we must be willing to forgive those who have wronged us. In addition to the readings, there are a few other things that I would like to say about forgiveness. First, it's not always easy. It can be difficult to let go of our anger and resentment, especially if we have been deeply hurt. However, it is important to remember that forgiveness is not about the other person, it's about us. When we forgive, we are choosing to let go of the pain and bitterness that we are holding on to. This can be a freeing experience that can bring us peace and healing. Secondly, forgiveness is not a one-time event, it's an ongoing process. There may be times when we need to forgive someone over and over again. This is okay. Forgiveness is not about forgetting what happened. It's about choosing to let go of the negative emotions that we are holding on to. Finally, forgiveness is a gift. It's a gift that we can give to ourselves and to the other person. When we forgive, we are giving the other person the opportunity to start over. We are giving ourselves the opportunity to move on and to heal. Finally, forgiveness is a powerful force that can transform our lives. It is a gift, truly, that we should all strive to give and receive. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have a beautiful sunday do take care and stay safe